so here's an interesting aspect. At this point, if I were to, let's just go ahead and say like the, if there was two types of people type of thing, I could easily say they're the people who are a hundred percent still like taking, waiting for the next word from the government, let them know what the situation is. And I would say almost equally as half are kind of like, eh, I, if it wasn't for the fact that you're implying actual force of some of these rules, I wouldn't be going about it. I'd just no, be yeah. going about my the rest of my yeah, life. Just going through the motions. So that aspect right there. And then there's some people who are completely just like, fuck this, I'm not wearing a mask. I mean, it's a much smaller group. But actually, I, I feel like that is one of the one of the things that I feel like we've been tricked into buying into is that you have to there had you know it's like you have to choose like this side or that side when it's like a lot of times there's a spectrum like i like i personally don't know what to believe but i really care about people and i know a lot of people who i trust and i you know respect believe that we're you know there's really a, a cause to be alarmed you know and so it's alarmed and so so yeah, it's like out of respect for those people, I'm gonna and out of respect just for you know like the people in my life. Like I have you know like probably more so than the average person my age. Like I have a lot of friends that are old people. Yeah. Um. And so, it is really important for me. If like even if you look at but the like the if, if you were sick before, you wouldn't be around them. Yeah. True. That, you know, and that's true. But, you know, it's like out of respect for the, the people, the authorities and the people I don't want to get sick, I'm going to do everything I can to, you know, minif- minimize any potential spread of me getting someone else sick. However, like, you know, all the things that I've, that we've been told that, you know, um, about like, the, um, like the asymptomatic spread and like you know like you have to like be hyper vigilant i, I like, find that slightly convenient. i mean it's just like it's so i don't like i feel like convenient. i have a pretty good idea of when i'm sick and like when or you know if i have cause to be alarmed you know and regardless of all that i'm still gonna follow the recommendations you know within reason like i'm still gonna be extra cautious to make sure i don't get my loved ones or you know some even some random person sick but tell me this though this whole year, from major news stations, when they talk about ways for you not to get, you know what? Yeah. They never say, rest, eat well, exercise. Yeah, not maybe not the mainstream media say. They I, do the, say wash your hands. I, I know. That's what I'm saying. I made a very distinctive... Yeah, yeah, Note here, yeah. I'm, and I named those other three things. Yeah. Wash your hands is exactly what they've been saying, yeah. and and um, put your mask on. Yeah, for so yeah. put your mask on and wash your hand. Put yeah. your mask on, wash your hand. So wash your hand, put your mask on. And then I mean, to your point, like the one of the reasons I just like I get fed up and I you know start I you know lose faith in um, mainstream like medical experts is they don't tell you to start with like healthy eating healthy living you know sleep well eat well get exercise get sunlight get fresh air um eat lots of vegetables if you are sick you know like get extra rest you know you know make sure you get some vitamin c why is it you don't hear that first mainly because the system when we're in doesn't actually care about our health and they don't actually want us to thrive and be healthy they want us to be controlled and that's i really i think that's what a lot of this stuff is so if that's the case then the majority of the things that we've heard this year if it sounded bullshit it would because it probably is bullshit right i mean that's what what i'm sounding like yeah you know and uh i i'm not i'm not gonna go ahead and say any specific you know thing is bullshit you know if like i feel like people should okay. find a, an authority they trust and um like get you know whether it's a doctor or someone who's their first advice should be like do the the things you can do to maximize your personal health and you know prevent like spread of germs um, so but the thing is, it's like you can't really trust like 
you know, the mainstream media or like mainstream news sources. It's like, because they don't have your best interests at heart. Like you, you know, you watch that. And then in the commercials, there's like 20 drug companies, like with, like they tell you five seconds of this benefit, you know, the one thing they're going to help you with. And then 35 seconds or, you know, 45 seconds of like side effects where this, you know, might cause your, your liver to malfunction or, you know, like your they're their biggest off. advertisers. Yeah, you know, and so it's like, like literally. I mean, that and that, that's a fact. Um, and you know, and, budgets and that I feel like that's another thing that's happened in twenty twenty is people have really started to wake up to the fact that you can't trust, you know, the trusted media sources because they have a very specific agenda, and that's you know keeping the system in place that's meant to control the masses. But whoa, whoa, whoa! You're going crazy talk right now, man. Oh. You're going, <laughs> you're going conspiracy theories oh, right gosh. now, man. No, yeah, you're, you're not I, one of those conspiracy I, theories. I actually, I don't believe in any <laughs> conspiracy theories. Okay, though, but tell me why, though. It seems like more so than ever, the line of conspiracy is getting drawn by a lot of people in a very um, dismissive, two-dimensional way. Mm-hmm. In a very, you know, if you know what I mean, yeah. And so they're finding out like a couple things as to that you're not really about or you you don't buy into specifically about 2020, and I I don't even have to go b- before oh, that yeah. like no, 2020 is enough, <laughs> and I've seen more so than ever personally actually, both my real life and internet. Well, obviously the internet life we all seen probably the same a lot of the same stuff, but yeah. Long story short. The divisiveness has been unreal in regards of, like, um, people coming up with those sort of ultimatums on um, once finding out a certain thing about a certain person, Mm. drawing that line Mm. and sort of been like... Oh, we're not friends anymore. Yeah. Yeah. We're not interacting. You're canceled. Type of thing. Yeah, cancel culture. We're canceling you. Mm. We're out. So, I mean... Personally, I, I can see why that's happened this year. I mean, I personally don't think, going back to the media, they don't help. Um, I'm sure plenty of negative things are happening, but how often are they covering the positive stuff? Yeah, we're, how or, or the negative stuff um, that, like, isn't in their best interest to cover, like, yeah. you know, major Or negative spills, stuff or, that or, is know, like, completely not on their... Yeah, anything that looks that's not pushing anybody's agenda that's on their back pocket yeah. is not going to get covered in that light. And so it comes to a point where I personally think we've entered this weird paradigm that you don't have to necessarily live in, but I do think it's happening on a certain subconscious level, which is, like I said, certain people are going into 2021 sort of like... I'm abiding by these rules, but I don't really think this is what you guys say it is. Yeah, we're. And then a whole bunch of other people were like, no, we're still doing this because we're saving people's lives and we're staying in because it's the greater good for the country type of thing. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching this clip from Appropriate Culture. If you want to watch the full episode, go ahead and check out us at appropriateculture.com. You can also check us out on social media platforms at Appropriate Culture. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.